Hey drone technology fans, Bill here. DJI Mavic Pro 2, first real picture. We'll have that coming right up. Hey Drone Technology fans, Bill here. cedalev has been busy today and he's put out a couple of tweets. One of them was regarding the DJI Mavic Pro 2. And without further ado, I'm going to put this first slide, the only slide on the screen as far as from today's tweet is concerned. And let me read that to you. Bang, guess what it is. And there's a picture which purportedly looks like the Mavic Pro 2. Now I'm going to put up on the slide, on the screen right now, slides from his renderings and you take a look and look at the at the actual photograph here now the photograph itself um i'm going to leave that up for a second before we go to the other ones um take a look it's it's a blurry image it definitely is something that was definitely taken in a hurry or it may have been um actually like a screen capture of, a, of another photo um just want to make, just want to get that cleared up um first of all now, if you look at those renderings and you look at the picture, um, we're, we're looking pretty spot on. Now, there's already been a lot of videos that have come out today, but one thing that I wanted to do is, and I'm gonna put this, put, um, here's a picture of my DJI Mavic Pro. I'm putting that up right now on the screen. And now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go ahead and split the screen and put the other picture up here as well. And I think the one thing that you want to notice with these pictures here is um, there is a little bit more ground clearance on the picture that we saw from Osirlev today. Um, a lot of, a lot of um, people have talked about how fat the body is or wide the body is. Um, in comparing it to the um, Mavic Pro um, in, in looking at it, I'm thinking it's about the same as far as width, maybe just a little bit bigger, but what's very noticeable to me is the length of the body um, from front to back. It is definitely longer. Um, I, strive to I strove to took a picture that tried to mimic this picture as much as possible. So, and you know, a lot of people, again, um, you know, not really sure if this is the real deal or not. I think it is. I think we're looking at the real picture of the DJI Mavic Pro 2. Um, you know, uh, Osirlev, uh, as far back as um, early February, late January, had talked about production of the DJI Mavic Pro 2. Um, also talked about testing of the DJI Mavic Pro 2. So I think we're on the cusp of that. When do I think it's going to be released? Um, I, they still could pull a surprise on March 22nd, but I'm kind of doubting it because they usually like to give advance notification to, to the press, to media, and to other outlets. And there's been nothing out there, absolutely nothing about that. Will it be released at, NA, at NAB 2018? No. Uh, as I stated in my previous video, and the, the, you can take a look at it, uh, what's going to be released there will, the, will be the DJI Phantom, Phantom Pro V.2.0. That's what's going to be released there, kind of like what we saw at IFA in Berlin. I'm thinking we're looking at a mid to late release in April in New York City. Again, um, you know, as I want in the NAB uh, video stated, DJI likes to do its own releases. They like to control it. They're a lot like Apple. They like to have control of the whole event. At NAB, they have don't have any control of that. Um, here, they'll have a complete captive audience. Um, and I really believe this is going to be, we're looking at probably a mid to late April type of time frame and probably an actual availability sometime either late April, very early May is when this is going to come out. Um, the price tag, I'm kind of thinking we're probably going to be looking at $1,199 or about $1,200. And again, you know, I get a lot of comments about people talking about, oh, you know, that's, that's too much money. I'm not going to pay that. One thing you need to remember here is that the technology that's going to be packed in here, if it's what everything that Ocetalev has been talking about, we're basically looking at a Phantom 4 Pro package and a Mavic Pro 2. That's incredible to be able to pack that technology inside there. That's, that's, that's a lot. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. So I think the price tag will definitely be justified. That's looking at about a $300 price increase. So I would say if that's what the price would be. That's just my guesstimate um, based on everything that I've seen so far. If you like the content from today's video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell others about the channel. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook page where I do post daily updates regarding the drone and drone industry. And also check out my blog where all my videos get posted out there as well. Thanks so much for watching and happy flying.